Practice number 10 is in the books for the UNA football team during spring training. And in this Line Vision update, we'll talk with defensive coordinator Brett Borden. And, Coach, it's hard to believe 10 practices have already gone by. We've had two scrimmages, including one this morning. It's been a week since we've talked to you. So, I guess since the time we last chatted, what have you seen from the defense as far as improvement goes? Well, you know, we, we've had our days that we, we've done well. And I guess what we're looking for is consistency across the board. Um, you know, we've had the same few guys that stand out, and we're looking for guys that um, had a role last year to kind of grow into their expanded role, and then the guys that, um, you know, didn't play as much, looking for them to step up and see if they can help us. Four practices this week highlighted by a scrimmage early Thursday morning. So before we dive into the scrimmage, for the guys, we're out of school Friday. So you come in early, you get the work done. It's got to be kind of bittersweet for them. It's bad that you're having to get up early, 5 o'clock in the morning for a practice, but now here we are, the, the, the day's over with. So just kind of what was the morning practice like? Were guys dragging around, or was there some excitement out there? Well, they came in with good energy. Um, you know, I'm sure once their feet hit the ground, they kind of knew what was ahead of them. And you do get in, the, get the morning practice, get it in, and then we'll have come back and position meet today and then give them the opportunity if they want to go home and see family uh, in the afternoon to be able to get on the road and, and be able to do that. But energy level was good. Uh, you know, we, we got what we needed to see out of the day and thought we had a good morning. From the scrimmage perspective of things, just kind of take us through it. Both sides of the ball, what were your takeaways? Right. Um, you know, it's been day-to-day -day basis, you know, kind of offensively. They'll, they'll kind of take it to us like they did on Tuesday when we did a goal line situation. And then, uh, you know, we, we had a better day yesterday in the team segment, had a couple turnovers that we created. So, um, you know, it's just kind of today was good and bad for us. Um, made some plays, but also gave up a few plays. But I think we're seeing what we need to see from the guys we need to see it from and, um, you know, continuing to develop some consistency with some guys across the board. As we jump into our position highlight, let's talk about the linebackers. Now, we lose three starters from a year ago, a couple guys that have played a lot of football for us. And when you look back at, at UNA, there really is a rich tradition at the linebacker position. I know you played linebacker. Gabe Poe coaching linebackers. He played here as well for a season. So what are you seeing from that group during the spring, and what's your expectation? Well, you're right. We lost two really good players there with uh, – uh, Edric Harris and Darius Wright uh, both leaving the program um, gradu to graduation. So uh, Ron Derek Rice has been a guy since the first practice that has stood out. Uh, can really run, is a physical guy, plays with a lot of energy, has the right mentality that you want from that position. Johnny Anderson is another guy that played in a reserve role last year that um, we're hoping can still have a role for us this fall, bringing him along. Wade Miller is a guy that's just steady. Uh, he's playing our inside linebacker, very smart guy. Uh, and know what you're getting there. So uh, trying to develop some depth there. And, um, you know, that's probably a position going out this spring that we knew we were thin. Um, so Ron Derrick has really shown uh, that he'll be a really good player for us in the fall. How can these players, these linebackers, benefit themselves? As you just mentioned, they are a little thin, so that probably means more reps for each of those guys. So how important is it for them to be dialed in each and every day? Oh, it's very important. You know, for the most part, we've kept things simple. Um, but we are, you know, adding some new things as we go so we can kind of uh, have the whole playbook in by next weekend. So every day is a, is a job interview. Um, you know, we're expecting – we need starters at that position. We need depth at that position. So it's very important that each and every day they come over and, and give us the consistency that we're looking for at that position. Ten practices in as defensive coordinator, getting caught up with, with the new faces, relearning some stuff with some of these guys. What's been your biggest surprise so far? Well, just the young guys. I tell you, one, as far as an individual player, Dwan Smith, a local guy here from Muscle Shoals High School. Dad was a really good player here. Uh, he just has a knack for making plays. Uh, I'm on, I don't think there's been very many practices that at some point, whether it be in Scaly or team, that he's not had an interception. Uh, just real savvy at the position, very good athlete, a little undersized, but uh, he's carving out a role for himself. So he's really been a guy that I wouldn't say a surprise because we knew he had talent, but it was just a matter of him carrying it over to the field and, and being what we thought he could be, and he's proven to us this spring that, that he's going to carve a role out for himself in the fall. Ten practices completed for the UNA football team. They'll take Easter weekend off and be back next week leading up to the spring game on April 22nd. Be sure and visit RoarLines.com for all your updates with UNA football.